My name is Gulliver McCune. I'm living in Georgetown, Guyana. And I always see myself playing a female role. My first experience going drag, in our community, there's always guys with lime at the head of the road. So as I approached, I noticed everybody was jumping to pick up with to beat me. And I ran away. I scaled the fence for my safety. And the funny thing that I could have laughed about it is about 20 guys was running behind me and they couldn't catch me. <laughs> One of the main reasons that many transgender persons were not able to live with their family is because laws that criminalize LGBT person and because of religious belief, it feels like though you're committing an abomination. If I was in another country where they accept gay people, I would have lived my life better because here in Guyana, it's a difficult task. We always have to keep fighting for our rights. Well, I would like to have a different kind of job, but because you're trans, they don't want to hire you. So the only thing leads for us to do is prostitution in Guyana here. Before 2009, there were a bit challenges towards accessing basic health care service for the trans community and in that early period that I don't like to remember there were many of my colleagues die from simple information towards HIV and AIDS so it was the most painful time for me in my life I could remember so we realized that we had to do something and we started our body support where we would support each other GTU become more of an household name. It became more supportive, more than what we has planned in our early age. We has grown our mission house and vision at the particular times. We now become a service provider. Some of the services that we do at GTU, we do case navigating. We do psychosocial support. We have a safe space. We screen person for gender-based violence where we document incidents of stigma and discrimination. We do HIV counseling and testing. We do support group meetings for our community members who are affected by HIV and infected. We do support group meetings with family. We're able to create a youth arm of GTU, which cater for the younger trans person. So that is GTU and more. not very nice at all. It's very hard to witness murders. Not one, but more than one time seeing my friends die, who will get shot, who will get stabbed, who will get the throat slit and all kind of things. I've witnessed a lot in my lifetime. Being a transgender, being on the street. The challenges sex workers face in having the same sex is the clients. I mean, you would want to do the business with the condom, but because of situations, you might just do it without the condom for financial purposes. And sometimes it could be on the client that you're going with. He agreed to use the condom, but while you're in the process of doing the business, he takes it off. Probably when you meet in the room, he tells you plain, I'm not gonna have sex with a condom and you can't do nothing about it. And most times, these people that come to you is people like, you know, like over you with power, so you have to subdue in order to come out without a scrape. As a trans woman, without these NGO support, you go into the station to make a report, it can't happen. But now that we have an organization and we have people fighting for the rights for us, it's getting a little better. If I to look at the world at large, especially country, who was already rectified those laws that criminalize same sex, I applaud them. But to scale Guyana there, Guyana is nowhere close. We now in maybe at zero getting into one in our work of advocacy. 
and affected for real change. I believe that it will be more applicable to have comprehensive sexuality education because if we're talking about eradicating AIDS by 2013, then obviously we have to ensure that we're doing the work to get that done. A lot of people are now living longer because of the work that people like you have done. I know we have more work to do, but we've come a long way. I think the world should be more accepted. And once you can actually have a world that embraced and accept all persons for whatever their gender, their race, their color, their religious or whatever dynamics, I think we would be having a blossom pink world. That the sky, maybe the color would not be gray at no more. It may become pink. It would be a pink world <laughs> that everybody would live in harmony.